The Craft Legacy. Loved it in the 90s. The first craft came out in the 90s. Yes. With, uh, this hip quartet of young witches. I think they made a TV series as well, didn't they? I don't know. I think they did. I didn't even know. Yeah, it's very it. possible because yeah. it was very popular. Mm. Yes. So this was, I was interested, I didn't know about this at all until one day we scrolled on Netflix. Oh, the craft league is. And it's Blumhouse. So, you know, Blumhouse has been just. Head diving headlong into like sure. remakes and They've reboots. I am the fire. From the Halloween movies, Freaky, where Freaky Friday got turned into a serial killer yes. and a schoolgirl that gets gets mixed up, Fantasy Island, mm. old TV show that mm. they turned into a movie. And they also had, I think recently it was Black Christmas. Oh, okay. That uh, it, which kind of preceded the whole slasher thing. Okay. They're doing. They did Firestarter, mm. Stephen King's Firestarter, which had Drew Barrymore in it in the 80s, and talks about the Exorcist Yikes. remake Ooh, trilogy. Careful of now, sorts. careful now, because <sighs> that is a, that is a, especially the director's cut. Very dangerous. To Very try dangerous take to try. Yes. You must have Ooh. balls of steel. Yes, because the, it's very hard to improve mm. on perfection. But you know, it's been what four decades or mm. more. Mm. So you could probably do something interesting. I mean, there was there's an Exorcist TV series which we only discovered yeah. when we got Prime. We scrolled through the The Exorcist. Hmm. Mm. Haven't started with that yet. I thought that when they re-released The Exorcist with the it was the mm. director's yeah. cut, right? I thought it was brilliant. Yeah. It just sort of brought it back to me again on how, what an incredible movie it yeah. was. It was a friend hectic. of mine, a friend of mine, Werner Offner, he had a, a Betamax copy. His dad bought that in Germany or mm. Austria or Belgium somewhere. Uh, he had The Exorcist, Maniac, that Joe Spinell movie. Mm. It's hectic, hectic. Tom Savini makeup effects. Mm. They did a remake, which I still haven't seen, with old Frodo, mm. Elijah Wood, <laughs> Elijah Wood playing the role, which is quite hectic. Yeah, but he's a, a creepy little dude. Yeah, but it makes it. <laughs> 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 then again, he was that evil fucker in, in Sin City Sin as well. City. That's that's always mm. what I think of. What I think of when I think of him was that 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 thing he did. It mm. was. It was terrible. And is it Spectre Vision? He's a production company. They make lots of odd, strange, interesting mm. horror movies. They also did uh, Richard Stanley's Color Out of Space. Just wanted to say, yes. Mm. Yeah. But we digress. <laughs> like we do. <laughs> As we do. The Craft Legacy. So I don't know if, we, if Legacy, so I assumed it was a continuation as opposed to a remake or a reboot. But it is a whole new cast yes. of characters. I was happy that it wasn't a remake. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was quite like I really loved the original. Yeah. Mm. It's directed by Zoe Lister Jones. I think she's actually mainly an actress or a musician, something of the sort. But the the story basically kicks off with you got a trio of schoolgirls. Mm. They work. Dabble. On, Dabbling with witchcraft, <laughs> but now they need four, you know, for earth, fire, water. To represent each element, yes. And so this new girl arrives. She moved to this town because her mom's got a boyfriend there and he's got a couple of sons. Mm. So this whole clashy family, family dynamic, dynamic yes. as is always the case. And she's a very, like, angst ridden teen. Yeah. Yes. And also, as it is in these movies, also kind of very adult for their age. Mm. But these girls, they witness something that mm. make them realize that this might be their fourth yeah, the missing, element. Yeah, the missing element. But there's very much, there's also a scene in this early, early, early on in the school which kind of echoes Stephen King's Carrie, mm. where she has a period in school and then mm. gets kind of mocked. Yes. That reminds me a lot I of that. I think it's cool that they do stuff like that because like a, something like a period shouldn't be. But I'm also now assuming that these powers probably only materialize itself. Because you got a first period. Yeah. Yes. But then they become friends and they start mm. 
playing around with all these spells and things get out of hand. Like it does. It gets dangerous. <laughs> People might die. Mm. I think they do, don't they? Very surprisingly, the role of the mom's partner is played by David Duchovny. Yeah, he's, he's the only kind of guy that I recognize yes. in there. Yes. And, you know, without spoiling anything, obviously he's not just like a regular guy. There's something going on with him. Yeah, he's a bit of a doist, actually. No, he's a bit of a doist. <laughs> <laughs> but beyond that, mm. you know, there's just something that's mm. a bit, that's off. Yes. I but we, go, we won't give you details no, on that. No, no. Um, because that may come into mm. play or may not. But it definitely plays into this, the, the family dynamic and the fact that she's such a woe is me, angst ridden teen. Yeah. Mm. But <laughs> where, whereas the, the original movie was, I think it was kind of like when Twilight came out now. Mm hmm. For that, for generation, for younger generation, yes. for the first Twilight was like wow. Mm. I think the craft was very much like that. Mm. This one, I don't even no, see it coming close no. to having that no, kind of not at all. impact. Not at all. I mean, I'm not a tween. Mm. I don't. I just don't see it. It doesn't have the gravity mm. that um, the original had. Yeah. The original came sort of was very like at the time. It was like a very sort of odd. Film. It was opportune for the time. We People were watching just... stuff like Clarks and. No, it, it, it was it was a period <laughs> when funny some stuff. Period, cool movies came out in the nineties. Yes, um, yes. Very vastly different movies. Lots of people took chances with just creating something different, yeah. especially after you know the Tarantino thing with Pulp Fiction. Movies and, and just the, sort of went in yes. very cool directions. And People tried different stuff. It was sort of, if you watch The Crow, it was sort of the same audience that would, would have watched The Crow. All the know. Lost Boys in the 80s. That's right. And there's like a kind of packs of like little, little gangs of kids being cool. For its time, the original craft, it was, a, it was an edgy movie. Mm, it yeah. was cool. Very nice soundtracks. And legacy? Mm. I think... Um, if you were a fan, a big, huge fan, I'm sure there were disciples of it, you know, mm. like serious, serious mm. fans. Even if you watch this and you don't like it, the way the movie ends, I expected it. Mm. Well, I, w I was hoping it would end that way, and it did, mm. without giving it away. Mm. But so if you're a, a huge fan of the original movie and you hated this one, I think if you sit through it just for the just for the little finale, I think it'd be. It will wrap it up nicely it. for you. It'll yes. be worth it. You'll you'll say, okay, cool. Yes. But you had to sit through the movie to get mm. there. So what are we scoring this one? It's not terrible. It's not fantastic. So that sounds like a nice, say five. Yes, for me, I would have, if it never happened, it would have been absolutely you of no miss consequence. It, it miss won't it be missed. All. I would also go with a five. Okay. Mm. Say five. Which doesn't mean it's bad. I think maybe also we might just be too old. Mm. It, is, it. it is a teen, teen it horror movie. It is a teen type movie. Can you call it horror? It's not, I can't say it's fantasy, mm. supernatural. Yeah, it's uh, like a little bit of elements. Yeah. Of, mm. uh, th there's a little... Telekinetic I mean, powers. There's mm. like some like, like horror in it. Mm. Mm. It's fun, mm. but, f but forgettable. I think you need to be 12. 13. And, and a girl. It's probably, it's probably got a 16 <laughs> restriction, so technically 16, but 13 year olds will watch it. I reckon it. girls will probably like it more than, than boys. Yeah. It's a witchy thing. It's a witchy <laughs> thing. Cool. Mm. Give us a, a like and a subscribe and a comment. Yes, let us know if you've seen it, what you thought about it. And how it compares to the original. Yeah. If it even comp I mean, yeah. If it even compares. Yeah. Uh, super fans will be very very wary when they approach this one mm. but well you have to check it out to know yes can't just take our word for it no all right see cool. you next time <laughs> cheers cheers